Megan. I'm a Year 12 student at Capital College and I'm keen to learn more about doing apprenticeship in hairdressing. Hairdressing is one of those careers that affects everyone. We've all got hair, at least when we're young, and we've all had it cut. And a hairdresser has the power to transform our appearance and make us feel good about ourselves. Megan is about to have a taste of the exciting life of a hairdressing apprentice with a whirlwind tour of shampooing, colouring and cutting with some off-the-job training at the Wellington Institute of Technology in Petone and at a popular Carpety Coast salon. 50 kilometres north of Wellington at Romati Beach, Friends Hair Design is owned by Ivan Shu. He is going to be Megan's mentor for the day. Hello. Hello Megan, how are you? Good. My name's Ivan and welcome to Friends. Now I believe you want to learn all about hairdressing and the yep. apprenticeship system. Right. Now I believe you've actually had uh, job experience in the past. Yep. So you've done shampooing yep. and, and some colour work in the past, have you? Yep. Great. Look, look, follow me and we'll, let's see what we can do. Cool. First up, right. Ivan's keen to see how Megan does with a basic but very important task, a wash and shampoo. Just going to get Martin just come gently back. Okay, now we're going to start shampooing Martin's hair. All right, and remember, we use a volume shampoo for Martin. Okay, cool. We are a very social, sociable sort of an industry where we, where we actually get very close to people physically as well. We actually we're in a few um, industries or professions or careers that we actually touch physically touch our, our customers. Uh, not many professions or, uh, or careers do that. Uh, so you tend to have to have this wonderful attitude towards people. That, good ability to interact with people. So just a towel dry the hair so water's not dripping everywhere over the face, just on the neck, that's great. Thank you Megan for shampooing Martin's hair. Martin's ready for his haircut. I'm going to pass you on to Ellie. Ellie's going to sort of help you set up a client for colour work. Come on over and we will get you ready for some foils. We're going to be using blonde oil today. Have you done any foils before? Yes, I have. How did they go? They were right. It takes a bit of time. Yeah, <laughs> practice. Ellie is one of Ivan's newest apprentices. I was at school and I applied for a part-time job, just yeah. cleaning on a Saturdays and a Thursday, and it was, not, it was something that I didn't want to do at the beginning, but working here in the environment definitely inspired me and seeing all the creativity and how it makes people feel and the service you provide. Alrighty, if you'd like to come on through and we'll go greet our client. So what could go wrong? Bleeding. That's if you apply the colour too close to the, too close to the scalp. We don't want that. And when I mean by bleeding, I mean the bleeding of the colour. Ellie's also happy not to be bleeding money while she's learning. I'm earning money as I go. I'm not going to have that student loan and building a career as I go. Alrighty, now that I've applied a couple, would you like to apply a couple? Yeah. Here we go. The colouring process using tinfoil strips is a tricky, specialised task. Uh, the theory of, of cutting is, is really technical. Uh, the theory behind colouring is becoming extremely technical. Uh, there are colour specialists out there nowadays that specialise only in colour work. While the colour is setting, Megan gets some more hands-on experience with apprentice Liam Northcott. So how long have you been an apprentice for? Um, so I've been an apprentice for three years, well, so I'm in my third year now. Yeah. So I'm just about to finish my last lot of Polytech and then I'll be all, all done ready for my finals. Cool, are you excited? Yeah, really excited, That's yeah. <laughs> what I really enjoy is um, transforming people and, you know, giving them a whole new look and, you know, making them smile and making them feel better about themselves. So I'm looking forward to travelling and using my talents overseas and one day owning my own salon. Awesome. So watch your fingers, you know, be careful not to burn them and definitely keep it away from the client's face. Yeah. That's a good idea. Alrighty, well, it looks like your foils are ready, so you might want to go check those out and make sure those are all nice and blonde. Megan, those foils look really good. You've done a wonderful job here. Now, those tasks that you've done, what you've sort of completed here today, are just some of the tasks that you do in the first year as an apprentice. But as an apprentice, you still have to go to Polytech. And I'm going to introduce you to Stephanie, what, another one of our apprentices. Hello. Megan, this is Steph. Nice and you're going to come to Steph to Polytech today. Cool. I'll just grab my bag and we can get going. Cool. At the Wellington Polytech's Petoni campus, Stephanie has been taking regular classes with tutor Wanda Menke. Hello. Hello there. Hi Wanda. Hi Stephanie. Um, this is Megan. I love going to Polytech. I find it so motivating and inspiring. 
Um, it's great learning from someone like Wanda who is you know, of such a high calibre and obviously very passionate as well about the teaching side of it. Today, Wanda is taking a class on how to cut a style called the concave bob. So establish your guideline and then check it before you move on. Really important that you get that guide nice and even before you move on. It's much easier to correct it at this stage than it is later. Ohio is the hairdressing industry training organisation and they oversee the training of hairdressers in New Zealand under the apprenticeship scheme. So it takes about three and a half years to qualify as a hairdresser. Um, they spend, they can either enter straight away at year one in a salon or they can do a full-time course um, such as um, we have here at Welltech and then go on to an apprenticeship. Uh, but you must be in an apprenticeship agreement to complete your training to qualify as a hairdresser in New Zealand. Apprentices would not normally start cutting clients here until their second year of training. But today, after a quick rundown from Steph, Megan is allowed to use the scissors on a mannequin. So you comb with the same hand as your scissors, so take your thumb out. So if you put your... Yep. Like that. Yep. Does it feel good? <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> After Megan's taste of life in the classroom, it's time to head back to Romati Beach for a catch up with Ivan. Right, Megan. Now, how did it go today at Polytech? It went really well. And what did you learn? A concave bob. Great. Would you like to show me what you've learned then? Yep. On a sure. mannequin? Great. Megan was wonderful. We, I, I, I love the way when she came in, she really interacted with everybody very well. She had that sociability. She had that nice presence about her. I think she's got a, okay. all the attributes at the beginning to make a good hairdresser. I've always claimed that if you've got those basic attributes, people skills, uh, we as the trainer uh, of apprentices, we can, we can do the rest. We can train them up to be wonderful hairdressers. So with a combination of good personality, good attitude, enthusiasm, good training, she'll, she'll probably be a damn good hairdresser. I had a really awesome day today. I learnt heaps. I started off wanting to do an apprenticeship, and now I definitely do. Hairdressing apprenticeships in New Zealand are administered by HITO, the hairdressing industry training organisation. Qualification usually takes three to four years and graduates will receive the National Certificate in Hairdressing Professional Stylist. Prospective apprentices should have good people skills. They need to have passed NCEA Level 1 or be able to show evidence of equivalent skills and knowledge. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.